Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ari. I'm a Taurus Sun, Cancer Rising, Aquarius Moon, and a Life Path number seven. If you're not new here, thank you for watching another video of mine and choosing to support me further. It does mean a lot to me. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe before you do leave this video, especially if you're able to relate or connect with this reading. So today, everyone, I'm here with a general love tarot reading for all of my Capricorns watching. So if you have Capricorn as your sun, moon, rising, Venus, or anywhere in your chart, this reading, this message might resonate or apply to you. So Capricorn, this will be a general love tarot reading. I will be channeling any energy in regards to love that is coming towards you. Perhaps this energy is already in your life currently. But before I do get into your reading, Capricorn, please keep in mind that this will be a general reading for the sign of Capricorn. So it may not resonate or relate to you specifically, and if it does not, please don't take it personally. All right, Capricorn, so with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into your reading. Let's check in on the energy that's coming towards you in regards to love. Can we please get a few cards for Capricorn? All right, we do have our first card that came out, the chariot. What energy in regards to love is coming towards Capricorn? Who's this person coming towards Capricorn, please? And what do they want to bring Capricorn? We have the star card as well. So we have the chariot and the star. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards, please, for Capricorn regarding the chariot and the star energy. What else do they have? Four of cups. Okay. Can we please get a card regarding the Four of Cups, please, for Capricorn and the rest of this energy? Queen of Pentacles. All right, Capricorn. So we do have our first few cards here. We have the Chariot, the Star, Four of Cups. And we also have Queen of Pentacles. So Capricorn, this could be somebody who is coming towards you, somebody from the past, somebody that you were opening up to and showing your energy for how you felt. And this may have been a powerful connection for you, Capricorn, but it's like they maybe didn't show you that energy when they're, when it was right in front of their face, or maybe they backed out Capricorn, like the feelings were mutual. They let it be known. You let it be known. And then out of nowhere, they just dropped that energy and they came off as untrustworthy or unreliable. So with the Chariot Capricorn and also the Star card, I feel like this was maybe a soulmate connection or somebody you just felt really close to a deep energy. And with this energy, it's mind, body, and soul. You... You felt, in a way, not completed, but just taken care of and not wanting to look elsewhere in love. I may have also felt like this was the person, there was no need to look elsewhere because this was the person that you were going to be with for the long term. You saw a future in them. And I feel like that was a mutual energy between you and this person here. But we'll see more with the cards next to come, but it... Perhaps this person wasn't truly ready or they went back on their word. And with them going back on their word, that maybe cancels out everything that they've told you. Because it's it's like a person who really tells me all these firm actions of affection and love. They, they wouldn't just leave my life suddenly or without an explanation or they wouldn't just switch up for no reason. So that's, I feel like this person, they, they maybe backed out or they got cold feet or maybe they were saying something to you too prematurely to the point where it didn't discredit how they felt about you, Capricorn, but were they ready to do, do everything they had their mind set on or everything that they told you that they were going to do? No. So this person maybe presented themselves in a in a better way than they actually were or maybe more mature than they actually were 
but Capricorn, with these cards that we have, I feel like this person is coming towards you. So the chariot, this person may be distanced themselves in order to do some reflection or in when they when they pulled away Capricorn it was like I need to get myself together or I need to maybe solve some things in my life before I could be truly ready for Capricorn they may have also pulled away out of ego um maybe they they just felt like they could up and leave and leave you not to know where their mind is at but this person is moving forward to you, Capricorn, balanced with their their ego and their emotions. So this is also Cancer energy. The Cancer placement might be relevant to you and your connection, Capricorn. The Star card. I mentioned that this may have felt like a soulmate or just somebody you felt deeply connected to, mind, body, and soul. But I feel like this is how they felt towards you as well, Capricorn somebody who gets them somebody who replenishes them somebody who makes them more sure about themselves and their purpose and when we see that in a person it's there's no doubt that this person is good for us so very strong connection here capricorn when they come back to you we have the four of cups this might be your energy them just popping in out of nowhere like what do you think this is like do you think this will really ease my emotions ease my mind when it comes to what was unresolved with us in the past and this person might come in like cheerful just so excited to reach out to you again capricorn but they they maybe need to prove their actions or at least explain to you what why and yeah what in why it happened and what happened you're not just going to be so accepting towards it capricorn they want to come back towards you because you're the queen of pentacles you're this abundant person somebody who nurtures them somebody who they feel as though being with you capricorn they'll be taken care of they won't have to question anything you'll give them you'll give them the love that they they want so Capricorn, let's go ahead and get a few more cards. Can we please get a few more cards for Capricorn? How else does this person view Capricorn? And what other energy are they bringing towards Capricorn? We do have the everything is fine card. We'll go ahead and leave that right here. We'll actually put it right there. Can we please get a few? Let me just get my cards together. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards for Capricorn. What other energy do they need to know regarding this person and their connection? We have the judgment card that came out. Can we please get a few more cards regarding the judgment card energy? Queen of Wands. All right. Let's go ahead and get a few more cards regarding the Judgment card and also the Queen of Wands for Capricorn. All right, so we have a stack of cards. We do have Five of Wands. Also, the world will take both of those. Can we please get a few more specific cards for Capricorn, please, regarding this energy that we do have from their person and from their connection? Let's see what we have. Three of Cups. let's just go ahead and get one more card please for Capricorn two of Pentacles as well then at the bottom of the deck we have the Empress card seven of cups the hermit will of fortune so Capricorn this person does want to come back to you and they're striving to come back to you and they're going to leave everything in your your power, your, your control because they know how maybe this ended, how it affected you, how it may maybe dented the connection. They're going to give you what you want, Capricorn, in order to make this work. Um, because they see so much in you, they think 
very highly of you. Let me just refer to the bottom of the deck again. They view you as the Empress, just unstoppable. They know that many things might come from this connection with the Seven of Cups. It's it's everything they could have imagined with you, Capricorn. So many avenues can take off from this partnership. The Hermit card, they know that they may have been gone for a while, but the whole time they were thinking about you, thinking about how they could get back to you. And if it were to work out in their favor, you wanting to reconcile with them, the Wheel of Fortune, also fixed energy. We have Taurus, Libra with the Empress and also Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius, and Leo. So those signs might be relevant, but they know that if things were to work out in their favor, Capricorn, it'll be everything that they wanted. But they want to avoid with you Capricorn, Five of Wands energy. They, they're they hoping that this doesn't go back and forth. Like they want to make love out of, out of the situation. But of course, Capricorn, it might not be so easy because this person needs to explain themselves. Um, also, there might be just some trust issues with this person now because of how, how much they may have affected this connection in the first place. But the Judgment card, Capricorn, I feel like this is also divine timing. They're going to give you what you want. They're going to maybe put your worries to ease by showing you in real life. Um what they're here to do so all your worries your doubts your your concerns are going to be answered when this person comes back in because they know that there's an explanation required from them queen of wands capricorn this is you in power and full control you get what you want out of, the, out of this situation like this person is leaving it up all up to you um, because they respect you and they're considerate about your feelings being that maybe what took place beforehand is still on your mind it still affects you they do want to make this work Capricorn and they understand that things might not be the same it might be a little bit slow picking picking up with you getting to how you two once were the star card also three of cups this may have been a person that you had no problem trusting beforehand because of the good energy you felt with them. Also could have been a friend Capricorn um, that you turned something, that you turned this connection into something more. Um, but this person wants to reach the Three of Cups with you, just celebrating about being back with one another and knowing each other again instead of the Five of Wands energy. The world card we also have some fixed energy so we have aquarius scorpio taurus and leo things are in your favor capricorn the universe has your back um maybe you capricorn you've done some inner growing or just appreciated yourself more in this time of distance because that's all you had to rely on um but i feel like with you capricorn you might know whether you'd like to reconcile with this person because you may know or you may not know like or you may know you want to reconcile or you may know that you don't want to reconcile with them and whatever you feel in your heart is the right thing for you to do and either way Capricorn I feel like you'll you'll succeed within this connection within any area of life because your decision resonates with you, Capricorn. So the universe has your back. Um, with the Two of Pentacles energy, I feel like this goes into this person is going to know that they will have to accommodate in order for things to work. And this could be their communication. This could be them just proving themselves in time that they're going to be there for you, Capricorn. Everything is fine. I'll just touch on this card a little bit. I feel like this might be your energy, Capricorn, if this person comes back in and you're still torn, not knowing what to do, wanting to reach back out to this person, but feeling like you can't because of how they treated you once before, or how they left. All right, let's get a few messages for you, Capricorn. What's on this person's mind for Capricorn? What does this person want for Capricorn to know, please? 
Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Let's see what other messages we have for Capricorn, please. We have, you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Let's go ahead and get one more card, please, for Capricorn regarding this energy that we have. I know I messed up everything, so you've always been on this person's mind, Capricorn. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Could be your energy as well. I know I messed up everything. This person knows that they put a dent in this connection. You know, or you don't know how hard it was to let you go. Maybe Capricorn, you've already released this energy from your life and it was a hard thing for you to do. Um, could also be this person's energy to you, Capricorn, in the way where they try to put you on the back burner or maybe forget about you for some time because they needed to address something else in their life or Maybe they just weren't ready to fulfill everything that they told you that they were. Let's see what other messages we have for Capricorn, please. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. I feel like this person has grown um, from how they left this connection off and that's why they're coming back because they they realize that they're ready now for you, Capricorn, and they want to show you differently or they want to resume what you two had, but also apologize for where they left things off. Let's go ahead and get another card for Capricorn. We have Judgment. We do have the Judgment card here. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. Maybe you, Capricorn, like understanding or at least putting things into perspective and when you understand a person and take things into their perspective or put themselves in their shoes Capricorn that doesn't always mean that you need to accept them it's all dependent on you Capricorn what you want to do let's go ahead and get one more card please for Capricorn we also have death I am learning that endings are merely beginnings Maybe you, Capricorn, are completely over this energy. You want to move forward from it. it. Could also mean a new and a better time for this to pick up and resurface if that feeling does resonate for you. Let's see what sign you might be dealing with, Capricorn. Can we please get a sign for Capricorn, please? Sagittarius. Let's go ahead and get another sign for Capricorn, please. Pisces. And let's go ahead and get one more sign for Capricorn, please. And Aquarius. All right, Capricorn. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it at that for today. As always, I appreciate the love and support. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will talk to you next time. Bye.